Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we conducted the Imperial Ceremony in Satoru Marsh, earning ourselves the Hyantia Emblem, a tool that will allow us to explore many Hyantia ruins around Bionis. We also used the emblem to discover some potential evidence that some Talathia may be able to be turned back into Hyantia. We shall see more on that later, though, as this time, we're back here in Colony 6 once again because we just can't keep ourselves away from this place. I'd like to take a slight detour from all that high Antia emblem business to do a few things here really quick that we can do now. First off, I want to show the heart to heart. Strength of heart! It's always kind of cool whenever there's redundancy between what you said and the official name of something that's, you know, scripted by the game. You get what I mean. Incredible. I know, Shulk. I really like that. To think this is all of rubble not so long ago. That it was. The reconstruction is progressing very rapidly indeed. And the population is growing day by day, or at least it was. It's maxed out now. It just goes to show, people can achieve anything when they really work together. Teamwork can fell insurmountable obstacles. Looking back on the Battle of Sword Valley, well, it's a miracle I survived. It's because you're done, Ben. Because I'm a hero, you mean. I'm no hero. I'm not strong enough to be called that. Don't be silly. You're done, Ben, the hero of the Homs. No one's stronger than you. Shulk, tell me something. What do you think of when you talk about strength? No one stronger than Dunban says the one with the highest attack stat in the game. Well, when thinking about strength, I think of the dang title of this heart to heart. Good answer, Shulk. I'd expect nothing less from you. The weak of heart eventually lose all they have gained. The only problem is, I don't know how to get stronger in that sense. I can't exactly do exercises for it. You raise a valid point. It's called cardio. No, I'm kidding. I don't mean to ruin this moment. If you have firm convictions, you are strong of heart. Dunben, do you have firm convictions? During my days as a soldier, I did anything I could to protect you all. So I'd like to think so, I suppose. Then that means you're strong of heart. You said so yourself. So you are a hero after all. Maybe, maybe not. I guess that's not for me to say. Well, you'll always be a hero to me, Dunban. Remember, this is just my definition of strength. There must be countless other possible definitions out there. I bet everyone has their own. Either way, I'm glad you told me. It all makes sense to me somehow. True strength. It comes from willpower, right? No need to be thanking me. You figured that one out yourself. In truth, choosing not to fight is a nobler path. And that's something you realize already, isn't it? Anyway... I think it's time to head back. Good idea. Let's join the others. They'll be waiting. That one's a little slow for my taste, but it is still a nice moment nonetheless. I don't know how I managed to face the other way. Maybe I was just facing that direction when I checked the heart to hearts of the cameras behind me. I'm not really sure. But starting things off today is a side quest that I was actually worried we wouldn't be strong enough to do, but due to how smoothly the battles went last time, I think we can totally do it. Or should I say, we can definitely do this! Where is that quest giver? By the time he shows up, it is raining on my parade of an intro. Napo Rick! At last, you came to see me! You passed by me the other day without saying a word. How rude! So, I reckons you owes me one. Hmm. You seem troubled. Considering he just called you rude, I would say that he is very troubled. Um, yeah, Dunben, very smooth, just shaking it off like that. Hold on a minute, just hear me out. It be nothing to do with me. It'd be something to do with Nick. He be my student, you sees. I needs yous to help me decide how to proceed with his training. Should he fight a lot of ordinary enemies or a single powerful one? Neither. Have him fight multiple tough adversaries all at once. Wow, Dunban! Rigorous training! That'd be way too hard for him. My student be only just starting to train and still be weak. What be the point of getting him killed before he learn anything? You must defeat Canyon Valencia. Then you can answer me. Nick's training. We have Napa Rick wanting us to defeat a unique monster as well as some regular monsters. We'll have to see exactly which one is tougher. Not a problem. Consider it done. These enemies are all around Bionis legs, so it should be fairly easy to do these. They're not really tough, tough enemies. It's just more so that I was worried we'd have a little bit of trouble because there are some tough enemies we do have to fight later on, even for what level we're at, but nah, shouldn't be a problem. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Okay, so, first place that we need to go is... Uh-oh, does this not have a skip travel point? I don't think it does. 
Oh, wait, no, never mind, it does. It's up on the second floor. We need to go to the observation platform. We actually went to this area a lot earlier in our adventure. I believe it was around the time that we um, went to the Daksha Shrine and saw the nightmare-inducing Arachno that was there. Up here on the observation platform, not while it's raining. There we go. It is right over there. The Canyon Valencia, level 78. This is not the reason why I was hesitating on doing this quest at all. You'll see why later. Yeah! Rhyme time! Now it's... Yeah, well <laughs> He said Ru he said yeah Ryan time and then now it's Ryan time. Ryan, I think you're a little bit too into your catchphrase. Let's press on. We make a great team. Got the art book for Charlotte's covert stance. Don't think I'm gonna use that art ever again, but still nice to have. Once that's done, we're gonna go back to see Napo Rick. We were able to do that not too bad. We need to defeat multiple enemies. Go to the Bionis Leg and defeat ten Tempest Vangs. Ten of these dang things. Ten! These aren't really hard enemies to defeat. You know, they're only, I think, level 75 or 76. And compared to where we are now, they really shouldn't be hard. But just any quest that says, hey, defeat ten of these things, it feels kind of MMO-ish and how unforgiving that is because... Uh, I guess it's not as bad as that. I've, I've played MMOs where they'll, like, go kill, like, 50 or 100 of this thing, or peck even 999, and it's just for, like, a 1% experience. Ugh. So, yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't complain all that much, though, but just, when it's 10 enemies, when most monster quests are, like, you know, 2 or 3, it's a little bit annoying. So, Tempest Fangs appear down below Spiral Valley in the Windy Cave. These things are going to be no challenge for us whatsoever, so I don't really think I need to subject you to watching me fight 10 of these dang things. I'm just going to subject myself to it because, after all, I'm the commentator and the player. I gotta play the game. I'll cut you off. The time is right now! The time is right <laughs> Dunbang wanted a taste of what it's like to say that. While hunting those Vangs, my Ether Crystal inventory filled up once again. Because I don't think I'm going to be crafting with any level 3 or below crystals ever again, I think I'm just simply going to sell all of those crystals and only keep level 4 and above for now. And yes, I know that gems sell for more money than crystals, but we're at a point where money is getting a little inconsequential, and I'd rather just not waste my time getting a little extra money by crafting a bunch of useless gems, only to turn around and sell them. Killed all 11 creatures you asked us to kill, my master- I, I am so white, holy crap, I really can't do this. So, um, saying should you kill one strong enemy or ten weak enemies, well, the one strong enemy was at least a little fun, so I think I'm gonna say that. I see, it's a single strong enemy. In that case, I will have Nick fight multiple weaker enemies. I was not want to throw him directly into the deep end. Thank you, you have outdone yourselves. I hope I will now see some improvement in Nick. Don't worry about it, it was nothing. So you're just going to do the exact opposite of what we said in there. So really, this entire thing meant nothing. He asked if we're ready for more, which implies that we still have more to do here, of course. It is a side quest chain, after all. It My gem inventory is full now, too? Are you kidding me? The lowest level gem that I have equipped on any character is level 4. As such, I think I'm just going to sell all of my level 3 gems, pretty much regardless of what they are. Maybe I'd keep, like, an experience up or something like that, just in case, but... Other than that, I don't think it's necessary to hang on to any of these. Nuffo Rick, we are back. My student has greatly improved thanks to you. Now will be the time to prepare him for his final test. This uh, sounds very problematic indeed. Hey, hold on. Can't you not see I be talking? You can be friendlier than that. I needs you to do something that may be quite a handful. But remember that it not be for me, but for my student. So it'd be a good so be a good friend to Nick and help him out, won't ya? We can see that you are trying to do well by your student. We were only joking before. A joke? Really? Then I'll be good. I cease you are not the same as mean little Macrish. Well, thank you. Flattery will get you everywhere. I again need you to investigate which will be the harder test. First go to Satoru Marsh and defeat the indomitable Dalton. We need to go to the Soter Ruins in Satoru Marsh. I almost said Satoru Ruins. Having it be called Soter Ruins in Satoru Marsh is a little bit hard to say when you're not really, you know, too into things. Or not really too... 
What do I mean not too into things? Not really paying too much attention to how you're speaking, I should say. Eh. I mean, seriously. Me? Not into this game? When? <laughs> Let's go to the Sororal statues. The Soda Ruins is right over by where we were at the Oath Sanctuary last time. Over at the Soter Ruins, we have been here before. This is that place that had tons of high-level goggles that we could do nothing about on our first visit. Well, we could do something about it. We could run face first in and get ourselves killed. That was really about it. So, uh, the unique monster that we need to hunt is in the middle of all these, the Indomitable Dalton. I would suggest dealing with all of the slightly smaller goggles before going onward to fight that one. Just saying. Also, if you hadn't guessed already, this battle is the reason why I was thinking about saving the side quest for later, but ultimately decided, nah, it will be fine if we do it now. Don't mess with the best. We've definitely gotten stronger. Let us remain vigilant. As night falls in Satoru Marsh, we defeated it. In many areas, it would be, you know, the rising sun that would signify victory after a long battle, but nah, around here, it's the setting sun. It's just so gorgeous. Nupo Rick, yeah, it was an easy victory. Now go back to Satoru Marsh and defeat ten Grove Quadwings once again with this whole ten thing. Why can't it be like three or five? I I'd, I'd consider that about as time consuming as killing a unique monster, personally. So we need to go back and kill ten Grove Quadwings. Whoopee! Really, really. This video was apparently out to break a record. I have had three different inventories all fill up in the same episode. Selling my last two pages in terms of sale price, because I do want to hang on to my more expensive items for trades in the future, just in case I need them. Your guess is as good as mine how I managed to get 83 bitter wisp fluids. Or 35 sweaty cloths. Got a level 10 art book for Demon Slayer while hunting these quad wings, so that's definitely worth something. And you know what? I think I'm just going to use all the art books that we've obtained over the last few videos because there were some good ones in there, and I probably do want to level up my arts pretty soon. Also got a level 10 art book for Healing Energy and another one for Demon Slayer. Looks like I'm just selling a lot of items this video. The grim deed you requested was done. I think the 10 enemies were more... well... Nah, the one enemy was tougher, I'd say. Considering that wasn't really one enemy, that was more like six enemies because you had to take out all the enemies around it as well. Supposed it to be Nick's final test, he does need a challenge. I shall have him fight one. When you next sees him, I will have a great become a great warrior. Or he's will become a great warrior. I don't really get how this chubby little knop on with a mushroom on his head is fitting to be a teacher of great warrior, but hey, I guess appearances can be deceiving. We get attack plus and attack stability, six each, and a lot of experience, not bad. By the way, I've been recording for over an hour now, and this is only just now finishing what I called a slight detour from the main quest that we were going to be doing this time around. Yeah, this is going to be a long day for me. Let's not complain about it, though. Let's just get started on today's main event, a whole 12 minutes into the video. Absolutely wonderful progress. Yeah, these endgame side quests are kind of long, and that's why I was cutting out so much fighting there, so I do apologize for that, but... Our next destination is Frontier Village. Many Hyantia after the events in Alchemoth fled here, but that's not all. There were a fair few Nopon that were living in Alchemoth as well, and because, thankfully for um, our uh, minds not being broken, there is no Nopon Telethia hybrid creature anywhere in the world, so yeah, a lot of them just simply fled back to their hometown and live here now. As a result, many of them have new side quests for you. How about we start off by talking to Nello? You were the village drunk, weren't you? Not know what to do. What should Nello do? Would be impossible for me to do alone. Hey, what's up? A bit of trouble? What bothers you? May you tell us your woes? Yeah, a bit of trouble. His entire city was destroyed by giant man-eating antibodies. There is talk of rebuilding Imperial Capital, but it is dangerous at the moment because many Telethia there. You look like you know Telethia. Even in that form, they still remain in the Imperial Capital. They probably still think a little like bird people, but can't leave things as they are. Can't let Imperial Capital become City of Death. It pains me to say this, but friends must seek out those Telethia. Seek out those Telethia who were once Nello's old friends. And when you find them, put them to sleep. Do you really want us to do that to your old friends? It is for the best. Nello's old friends no longer know themselves. Old friends are no longer friends. They wouldn't want this. 
Restoring the capital. We need to defeat five Aora, Telethia, and Alchemoth corresponding to Nello's five friends. Contrary to what he says, these are not unique monsters or anything like that. You will just simply find them around Alchemoth. Up by the Imperial Palace entrance. You want to head over this way, and that is the Aora Telethia that we need to hunt. It is level 89, making it easily the most powerful enemy we faced up to this point. I kind of am sad we didn't get the Battle Start Affinity there, because that could make things very difficult, and I think I'm probably going to regret putting Shulk's Monado Purge on the AI, but we'll see how this goes nonetheless. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter that he's not doing it, because Mind Blast will do it all the same. I do kind of want to show this fight at the very least, just kind of show myself fighting at least one of them, because... I did feel kind of bad about cutting out all those fights in the last side quest. I mean, yeah, we were fighting 22 different enemies, including two unique monsters, so it would have just gone on forever if I did show them all. But, I don't know, it just kind of was one of those things where I did kind of want to get on with the main event of this video. Unfortunately, that was probably going to be all the fighting we do this time aside from this, so... I think that is kind of my mindset. I'm going to do Reflection right here. I really need to get him off me. I'm... You know, we have been struggling a little bit, and tension is dropping due to how often our attacks are missing because Shulk is not doing his freaking job! Okay. I guess it is kind of a catch-22 in that you need auto-attacks to use your Monado Purge, but there's times where he just simply can't get the auto-attacks out because the Telethi is using Soul Reed so often. But it still is kind of a pain, though, that he just kind of is over there not doing anything when you know he has the ability to, and... I don't know, it just, it's one of those things where you can't shake the feeling that if you were just controlling him, it wouldn't be a problem, even if that really is not the case. It's just, you get what I mean. It's frustrating all around is what it is. Uh, if you guys could... I guess, speaking of catch-22s, I am have the aggro stuck on me because I'm the only one that can actually hit this dang thing. If I could topple it, maybe that would help. Nope, can't do that. Okay, gonna... Drop dead. As soon as I use Mind Blast, and I don't get the effect of it, I just see the animation. Come on, guys. Let's get it together. We need to do this. So get off of the... The Telethia is blocking me from getting close to him, isn't it? Okay, there we go. All right, well... Shulk having the aggro was bad, but I think Melia having the aggro was a little bit worse, because Shulk's at least got some agility to speak of with how I have him equipped. Let's... Let's do this. Come on. This is just going really great, isn't it? Killer Sky and Aether Art. And Shulk doesn't have the ability to use Monado armor, unfortunately, thanks to him not being able to auto-attack. Uh, ooh, uh... No, not me, not me. Ryan, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on. Ryan, it's your time. Hit it. Ryan. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to get this aggro off of me this fight because I'm not controlling Shulk. Let's just... We'll just art spam. That was working fine enough, even though I was getting hurt by it. And why did you do Monado Buster, you idiot? Like... He got his talent gauge up, and he used Monado Buster. He spent the entire talent gauge on Buster. It would have only taken, like, what was it, like, I think it's three quarters of his talent gauge to use Urge? Shulk. Right. Okay. I really should have just art spammed this from the beginning. Shulk, your AI is not bad when it comes to using your physical arts, but when it comes to using your Monado arts, quite frankly, you are piss poor. Let's get our reward, and let's go kill four more of these dang things. While fighting, I noticed that Shulk had maxed out his current skill branch, so I'm going to switch him back over to Integrity and unlock his final skill that he doesn't have, Ultimate Teamwork. Increases chain attack damage by 25%. Of course I want that. Even when victory seems impossible, we march on. Are you nuts? Can we actually win here? <laughs> Good to know you have so much confidence in Melia, guys. Watch this. It did. Even when victory seems impossible, we march on. There's no way we can win. You trying to get us killed? Wow, these girls have even less confidence in Melia. I could really do with a shower right now. Upon defeating them all, you will get this vision. It has been a long time since the teleporter's light went out. Maybe the ether furnace controls are broken again. Can't we get out of here then? Can't we get out of here again? Help us, please, anybody! Stop making such a noise! What had happened if the Telethia saw us here? This triggers Vidian Rescue Mission. The transport's broken, trapping people in White Wing Palace. It's only a matter of time before the Telethia come. Fix the Aether Furnace controls. We need to find someone that can do this. Let's go back to Nello and see if he knows anything. So you found the Telethia! Though inside, Nello feels sad. Nello appreciates it. I hope I was of some help. You couldn't have been of more help. 
Come on, Melia, be proud of yourself, girl! Be proud, you say? You are correct, Sharla. I am proud of the job I did. Actually, there's a Nopon who is good at repairing machines. With help of this Nopon, we could begin rebuilding Imperial Capital. So of course you know that there is a Nopon that can repair the machines that we need to repair to rescue Vidian, but you're not gonna tell us, you're just gonna be like, oh yeah, there's a Nopon that can do that, good luck finding him. Okay, I shouldn't be so cruel, let's talk to him again and at least give him a chance. So, rebuilding the city seems to be in sight now. He needs us to get some you-know-what. You know, some you-know-what. Well, Dunban, you mirror my thoughts exactly. I kinda wanna know what these you-know-whats actually mean. Maybe Nello has been drinking too much. I knew you were the village drunk. Anyway, Nello spoke about working with Nopon who fixes machines. That Nopon says we need to start by fixing all broken machines. Need to use those machines to rebuild city. You like saying machines a lot, don't you? But we do not have correct machine parts to do that. Nello can get hands on other materials in Frontier Village, but machine parts not easily acquired. Are you making the preparations all on your own? No, not just Nello alone. Nopon merchants also help me. Nello could not do this work alone. Of course, having help of friends allow us to succeed too. Restoring the capital too. Wow, agility up six and some equipment for Fiora. Definitely not bad. The experience could be a little better, but you know what? I'm feeling generous today. Let's help out the capital. Thank you for doing this, friends. Need five refined part M's and five new cylinders. Not a problem, consider it done. Why do I get the feeling that I had these items earlier in the video but sold them now? I would have had a quest marker on them if they were that case and I didn't sell any items that did. Let's see, I do not have any of these items, unfortunately, so I'm gonna be a bit. Everything you asked for is here. We have the mech on parts you wanted, even though some of them were dropped by Ostas in the Hyantia tomb. Sure, if you want to pretend like they're not on parts, I'm content with being done with this. That's right, you'd have done the same for us. Uh, well, that was actually a really awkward time to begin reading the text there. I guess I thought Charlotte was gonna say something else. I'm not really sure what my mental process was. We complete restoring the capital, too. And is he gonna say anything about that particular Nopon? Nello's sure that old friend must have returned to Bionis. Reckon spirits of old friends must reside somewhere in this forest. Well, he's not gonna tell us, so I guess I'll just have to tell us. I'm really making Nello sound a lot more uncaring than he actually is. The Nopon that would repair this kind of thing that you need to talk to is right next to him. What, like 10 feet away at the main entrance? It'd be kind of hard to miss if you made any effort to look for him yourself. So, he has a request for us. Uh, things go the way they are. The rebuilding cannot get very go ahead, I fear. That is a worry. A terrible scenario indeed. However, thanks to you, we can see the light through the cracks. But we are still not in a position to proceed with the rebuilding. I just remembered, the Ether Furnace controls are broken! The Ether Furnace is the main power source for all of Alchemoth! Most transporters do not function without its power. Unless we fix them, we cannot begin to rebuild! So we need your help, my friends! If we fix it, do you think we can rescue the others? The ones trapped in White Wing Palace, I mean. Oh ho! You're right! If Ether Furnace controls were fixed, we could go there! We need to hurry! The Broken Aether Furnace. We have multiple quest objectives, and we have multiple quest rewards. Sounds good to me. You really are a wonderful bunch of people. I'll be here making preparations for the repairs. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. That's right, leave it to us! Don't you mean leave it to Ryan? We have the Frost Glass. And I don't have everything, unfortunately. I thought I was gonna have it. What am I missing? We need... 10 Refined Part L's. This is gonna take a while. Seriously, what is it with every quest objective being 10 of something this video? I liked it better when it was like 2. You know, like the quest objective that I just completed without even trying. Let's get that Ether Furnace back online! We get our affinity immediately. I don't know what's up with my voice there. I guess maybe I was trying to sound like something out of Star Trek. I have no idea. You know, it's better than even the commentator doesn't know anything. I mean, it's one thing when you guys are confused at things I do because that's kind of a regular occurrence, but still. Well, we get our reward for that, we complete the Broken Ether Furnace. And now that that Ether Control- oh wait, hang on, does he have another quest for us that I need to accept here? Seems so! Let's talk to him again, you've come at just the right time! I've been preparing for the repair of the Ether Furnace controls! This is really taking a lot longer than everyone was making it sound like it was going to take. I kinda hope they're still okay in there. What, you don't know how to fix the control panel? I'm afraid I can't go with you to show you how. There are Telethia there, it's too dangerous for me! But fear not, young friends! I shall teach you how to fix the Ether Furnace controls! Just remember what to do and you'll have it fixed in no time! You can leave it to us! 
There's no need for me to learn how to do it, though. You can just teach it to Shulk. You, sir, are a giant among men. How brave you are! <laughs> but please, don't take it uh, on if you think it's too difficult. What would we do if you were to get hurt doing this? Broken Ether Furnace 2! We get some really good gems, some drones for Fiora, a ton of experience! Um, I'm actually very pleased with how rapidly we've been leveling up. We get Kalika's Repair Kit, and now we need to go back to Alchemov, going to the Ether Furnace controls, and take care of all that! From the Imperial Palace, we're just gonna sneak past those two Telethia walking off in that direction. No sense getting their attention whatsoever. And you can see that even the Imperial Guards that were here are now Telethia. They're also higher level than what you're gonna find outside. Oddly, they... I was about to say, oddly, their line of sight seems just short enough that you can run just straight down the hall without any problem, but... Uh, this is what happens when you speak too soon. There are Telethia everywhere in here, as high as level 90. You wanna... I was gonna say tread with caution, but once again, it just seems like luck is not on my side today. You can see the area where we need to repair the either furnace controls. It is, uh, the map is confusing me a little bit. There we go. It is right in here. No, 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 no. Do not begin a fight with anything. Do not begin a fight with anything. Uh, wait. No, I do not want to be, no. Do not trap me in here. Come on. Guys, if this thing could just leave me alone, that would be very nice. I guess I could equip an aerial cloak gem if I really wanted to get rid of it. Uh, 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 okay. Well, thank you, Telethia. Apparently, he still retained some of his memories from his high anti life because he just stopped attacking me out of nowhere. I'm... I guess he really does want us to save his friends! Okay, yeah. Forgot about that. As soon as you mend it, you will have this primordial Telethia that is level 87 spawn right behind you. I don't know what's so primordial about it. I have no idea, like, what makes it so... I'm just losing my track here. Okay, I... Trying to get a string of commentary going, but I'm really struggling with just how many Telethia are coming out of nowhere and attacking me. Should you go back up to the White Wing Palace, though, you can see that right in here, just like before, a pretty prison is still a prison. Let's talk to Vidian. Hey. Thanks for helping us. I thought we were never going to get out of here. There were two more of us here, but they've already fled. I still have some strength left, so I want to stay a little longer. The two who escaped are both really grateful to you all as well. I'd better get going now. I hope we meet again. Finally took care of that! Vidian Rescue Mission as well as Broken Either Furnace 2 get ourselves a lot of different rewards. So, funny story, that Primordial Telethia that I was running from, I was in such a panic about it that I did not realize at all that our quest objective is actually to defeat this thing after amending the Aether Furnace control. So yes, we do need to fight it. So, me getting lost in my commentary and just making absolutely no sense, it kind of extends even further than that. I forgot the quest objective. I think that's some kind of new record about getting lost in one's commentary. Of course, I'd be the one to set it, considering how fast I can talk sometimes. Oh, wow, this is... For me being so scared of this thing and running from it as fast as I was, this is no trouble at all. We are almost to a chain attack already. It's almost gone. Uh, am I going to be able to actually pull off a chain attack? I don't know if we're... It's, I kind of am wondering if it's even going to survive long enough for us to do one. But I say it, and I receive. Let's do it. Yeah! Bad camera. Take it. Have your talent our put oh no. Uh times three final cross, let's do it! That is so satisfying. We got two level ups for that. Again, I'm really content with how fast we're leveling up because I was worried that it was just gonna take us forever to level. Um on my first playthrough, I had a really bad experience where I was just too weak to really kill anything of value and get levels or really do any side quests. But I was just strong enough that any side quests that I could do just simply were not giving any worthwhile rewards. And it was right around this point as well. I remember feeling really just kind of hopeless in terms of getting 100% at the time. But I struggled through it. I guess I just kind of know how to play under leveled a little better than I did back then. At least I'd hope so considering how much I've played this game over the years. After I switched around the party, of course, Gashulk has more than enough affinity for two lifetimes. Let's talk to you. Kalika, do you happen to be the father of the Kalika Vision? After all, you are an expert in electronics. I was right to not go with you. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
I was right to not go with you after I make a joke like that. Glad to know you appreciate my bad puns. Well, in, in all seriousness, he really was just saying that he just didn't want to go because he would have just gotten in the way and that Talathia was so strong that he wouldn't have survived. But still, just the timing with what I said was perfect. Well, with this done, we can now go back to Alchemoth any time. We complete the Broken Ether Furnace, get ourselves some really nice rewards. I'm willing to bet we're going to level up from this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Ryan gets a level up as well. That is the last side quest I wanted to take care of here today, but we are not quite done yet, of course. You know, in these videos that don't have alternate quest routes, we usually tackle two heart-to-hearts nowadays. So, let's go do one. You're gonna find this one inside Frontier Village, right in front of the Rickmeister's house. The Rickmeister... Okay. Well, we have Life's Hard for a Hero Pond. Really good name for a heart-to-heart, if I must say so, and Dunman just kinda wants to walk in place there before getting over here. Apparently he really didn't want to participate. Ricky not want to leave home again. Ready to leave us already? You can stay here, no one will mind. Dun dun not sad Ricky leave. Two here upon better than one. I'll be fine without you, but I'm not so sure about the others. Shulk will miss Ricky. Ryan too. Ricky's friends all sad. Ricky think Dun Dun sad too. I'll shed a tear for you. Dun Dun tell truth? Wow, Dun Dun can cry? No, Ricky not want Dun Dun to cry. I thought you did. I thought you did want me to cry. No, not cry. If Ricky go to leave, then Ricky want Dun Dun to beg him to stay. <laughs> Dun Dun can beg now. <laughs> beg, you are delusional, Ricky. Besides, it's inevitable that we will each go our own ways eventually. Really? Oh no, not good. Ricky want to stay with friends, but want family to come to with too. Dun Dun think Ricky selfish? Not at all. Ricky not selfish. Thank you. But Ricky want cake and eat it, so Ricky figured out best best way. Come out, come on then, out with it. Ricky, Oka, and Little Pawn all move to Dun Dun's house. Then in future, Fiora and Shulk come too. Ryan can come too sometimes. If Melia and Charla come, Ricky and friends have big party. <laughs> Ricky, you are the best. My house is fairly small and you wouldn't like the beds. Don't you mean bed, Dunban? You have the only bed in the entire house. Not even Fiora has a bed. Presumably she just sleeps in the dang kitchen. <laughs> oh, Ricky, no, Dun Dun build bigger house. Let me guess. You can get me a good loan to pay for the work. Wait, Dun Dun tried to be funny. Ricky not like Dun Dun's joke. Ricky invite everyone back to Dun Dun's house. This Ricky's joke. That is one of the funniest heart-to-hearts I think we have seen in quite some time, if not ever. That was a great one, and I really... I don't remember the alternate routes to that one, so I'm really excited to see them when I have to put together the end slate to this video. But, speaking of the end slate, that's all we wanted to do here today. We unfortunately had to kill some Hyantia that had become Telethia as they were running wild. We were able to repair the Aether Furnace, getting power back to the city, and we were able to rescue Vidian and a few others. That's it for now. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles. We're going to make some more progress toward restoring the capital and doing a little bit more globe trotting. See you guys then.